Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this open weave crochet stitch, which looks exactly as the title would suggest, like an open woven pattern. It's quite a neat mesh design. It's not a solid fabric by any means, but it is similar on the front as it is on the back. And uh, it really does look like uh, these strands have been woven through these double crochet stitches. It looks complicated, but it's actually quite easy to work once you get the hang of it. So we're going to use a little bit of cotton yarn today. I'm using a little bit of Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. It's a 100% worsted weight cotton. I will also be using a five millimeter crochet hook and uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. You will need two colors if you'd like to work it in two different colors or it can be worked in more, it's really up to you. So today I'm going to be using this green and this silver. Also in the description of the video you will find a direct link to the free written tutorial that's on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Don't forget to say hello down in the comments and let me know how you would use this stitch in a project and uh, check out some of the other video tutorials that you see here. So today for our stitch, I'm going to start by using this gray color here. And uh, you'll start with your color A. The pattern is worked in rows. So we're going to start by working a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of 10 plus 9 stitches. So today I'm going to cro uh, crochet 29 chains. Here's 20, and 29. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Your chain three at the start does count as a double crochet stitch as well. You're then going to chain three skip the next three chains and work one double crochet into each of the next two chain stitches. We're now going to repeat chain three, skip the next three and work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across. In your final stitch, you are going to switch to your color B, and I will show you exactly how to do that when I come across. Once you come across to your final uh, last two stitches, your last two double crochet stitches, you're going to want to switch to your color uh, B in this final stitch. So to do that, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. At this time, you can drop that color A, pick up your color B, and place it on your hook. You're welcome to use a slip knot if you would like, and you're simply going to pull it through. You're then all set to continue working in your color B. So with your color B, we're going to chain one, and at this time we're going to turn our work. For row two, with your color B, you're going to single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Chain one, now working in front of the chain three space, the chain three, and into the second chain of the three skip chains down below, 
you're going to work a double crochet. So yarn over, you're going to bring your hook in front of that chain down into the second chain of the skipped three down below and work your double crochet stitch. Chain one and you're now going to work one single crochet into each double crochet. Next, chain one. And now we're going to work another double crochet and instead of working in front of the chain, we're going to work in back. We always want to alternate working in front and in back of this chain three. So down into this second stitch, work one double crochet, working in back of the chain three. We're not working over top of it, we're just working in behind it, like so. Chain one, and we're now going to repeat that all the way across, single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches chain one, double crochet into the second chain of the skipped three, two rows below, working in front of the chain three. Chain one, one single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches. Chain one, now double crochet working in behind your chain three, double crochet into that second chain. Chain one, single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches. Chain one, double crochet into the second chain of the foundation chain two rows below working in front of that chain three. And then when you come across, simply chain one and single crochet into each of the final two stitches. Just like so. So when you look at your fabric, you should have a double crochet in front, double crochet in back, double crochet in front and back, in front, and so on all the way across. At this time, you're going to simply drop your color B. If you would like, if you're worried about your yarn slipping through, just place a stitch marker through that loop so that you don't lose the loop. You're going to come back to the start of your row two. Insert your hook into that top stitch or the top of that first stitch and you're going to pick up once again your color A that you had left from before. So I'm just picking it up, carefully pulling it up and pulling it through that stitch. Don't pull too tight. You don't want it to bunch your fabric but you just want to pick up that color A once again. So now for row three, working with our color A, we're going to chain three and we're going to work in the same direction as our row two. So chain three, it counts as a double crochet stitch and double crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Chain three, skip the next three stitches, which is a chain stitch, a double crochet and a chain stitch and double crochet into each of the next two single crochet stitches. Chain three, double crochet into each of the next two single crochet stitches. So each time we're just skipping over that chain, those chain one spaces and your double crochet. So repeat that all the way across when you come to your final stitch, you're going to pick up once again that color B. I'm almost there, so I'll show you how I do that when I arrive.
You might prefer to fasten off at the end of each color row. It's really up to you. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into this final stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. I'm then just going to drop my color A, remove that stitch marker from color B, place the loop on my hook and gently pull it through. I'm not going to pull too tight. I don't want my edges to bunch. You're then all set to chain one in your new color and turn your work. For row four, we're now using our color B. We've turned our work. You're going to begin row four by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Chain one. And now this time we're going to be working our double crochet but in the opposite uh, side of the one that we did down below, if that makes sense. So uh, here for this row we're going to begin by working again in front of, so the one down below is in back of the chain now that you can see facing you. So this time we want it to come in front of this chain. So working in front of the chain, you're going to double crochet into the double crochet stitch down below. Two rows below. So just double crochet, chain one, single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches. Chain one, now we come to our next double crochet. It's in front of the chain three. So this one we want to work in behind our chain three. So yarn over, bring your hook in back and just double crochet into the top of that stitch two rows below. Chain one, single crochet into each of the next double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. I'm here at the end of my row four, working my final two single crochet stitches. Don't forget to work into the top of your turning chain. You're then going to once again drop that color B. If you need to place the stitch marker, uh, go for it so you don't lose your loop. Then go back to the beginning of your row four, insert your hook into the top of that first stitch and draw up your color A and you're going to begin row 5 by chaining 3, double crochet into the next stitch, chain 3, skip the next 3 stitches which is your chain stitch, double crochet, chain stitch and double crochet into each of the next two single crochet stitches. Chain three and repeat. You're going to do that all the way across your work and as far as the repeat in this pattern goes that is it. From here on end you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five until your pattern is as long as you would like. You can then fasten off and weave in your ends and enjoy your open weave stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Uh, feel free to share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Bye.